At Beaver X Works, we focus a lot on creating dishes that are gluten-free. Potato allows us to be creative and get the same result as gluten products. We explored different ways in cooking potato, from salt baking it, to confiting, to fermentation, and different types of preservation techniques. The approach for this dish was to be able to recreate crab cake by using local spider crab that we got from the market. To make the croquette, we folded in kefir to mash potato and let it ferment for a minimum of three days. We added egg, potato starch, gremolata, potato flakes, truffle, and edamame and let it chill and form patties, breaded it with potato starch, egg, and potato flakes, and then fried it in the fryer at 350 degrees. We plated with ginger cream corn, spider crab, and bell pepper salad with hearts of fire microgreen. This dish is steak and potato taco. We use russet potato, slice it thin with a mandolin, and toss it in a variety of dehydrated peppers, roasted the potato in the oven, and served it in a corn tortilla with grilled wagyu skirt, garnished with pickled carrots, roasted bell pepper crema, and cilantro. Served with a side of chili lime. This is gold potato and gruyere gnocchi, served with braised beef tongue and cheeks, brown butter butternut squash, pomegranates, smoked hazelnuts. When we made the gnocchi, we substituted all-purpose flour with potato starch to be able to serve this dish gluten-free. This is longanisa burger with potato bread and fermented rice. We made the potato bread by adding mashed potato to our bread recipe. We fermented the fries for 48 hours. By fermenting potatoes, it creates a unique flavor with the addition of a slight acidity to the dish. We serve the dish with Sunamono salad and house-made banana ketchup. This is our take on the classic patatas bravas. After taking the fermented potato out of the brine, we fried it first at 275 degrees for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. After that, we let it sit for about a minute and refry it at 350 degrees until crispy and then toss it with gochujang dressing. We serve the dish by making an oyster emulsion by recreating a classic aioli, but instead of using egg yolks, using freshly shocked oysters. We garnish the dish with fried quail eggs, caviar, and gochujang aioli, which is a fermented Korean pepper. This is comfrey fingerling potatoes with Filipino-style pate. We serve the dish with elderberry, balsamic vinegar, and a little bit of rose flour, dehydrated tomato, and pickles. This is our take on a classic Indian dish, aloo gobi. We salt roasted red potato in the oven at 300 degrees for about an hour. We serve the aloo gobi with a house-made apple curry sauce, pickled raisins, manila clams, cauliflower, pickled daikon, toasted almonds, and sorrel leaves. This is pickled marble potatoes inspired by a Filipino dish called paksil. Paksil is vinegar braised with onion, bay leaf, and garlic. We recreated this dish by substituting proteins with potatoes and serve it with pepperoni jam, caramelized onion, pickled red onions, and carrot tops. This is potato arepas served with squid ink battered fish and chips. We created the arepas by substituting potato flakes instead of cornmeal. We serve the dish with ash aioli, cabbage, and a pineapple pico de gallo served with a side of lemon. This is potato chip blondies, whipped Aleppo ganache, brandy fermented rhubarb, black garlic caramel ice cream, and vanilla twill. We use frozen potato chips in our potato chip blondie. It adds great crunch and texture to a classic recipe. By using many forms of potatoes, you can create gluten-free menu dishes without compromising the flavor.